what's the latest on the locust right now? The wave has been very big, unprecedented in 70 years. And it is coming and coming and coming. And part of the problem why the wave has been very big is because there are certain countries, like Yemen itself, like uh, parts of Eritrea, like uh, Somalia, where no control efforts are done. So they keep on multiplying and then flying again. And one locust produces about 500 eggs. <laughs> so that is why the waves that ended up in Kenya yeah. after having multiplied almost three times on the way, yeah. They were very big. Yeah. There so, was there was someone in your office who said they are getting old. Yeah. And that we should <laughs> pause. We would we wouldn't mention any names. We are pointing no fingers. Yes. <laughs> no, he, he, he was right in a way because a locust lives for six months. When they are brown, pinkish, yeah. they are very aggressive. They are flying 150 kilometers per day, and they are eating. And wow. so they, they, they stopping to eat and then fly again. Stopping to eat and fly again and grow. And it's also a race against survival because if they don't make it to a place where they can breed, that means they will be wiped out. Mm -hmm. So when they become yellow, they stop flying around. Mm -hmm. Instead, they are looking for breeding places. Mm -hmm. And usually they lay eggs three times. So at the time you see them yellow, maybe they have already laid once, twice, maybe they are looking for a third um, place to lay. So if you kill them, it's like you're killing a dead person anyway, because after they have laid eggs, they have nothing else to do but die. Is yeah. spraying still going on? We are racing against time to spray them on the ground. Mm -hmm. That is why we have deployed 500 uh, NYS personnel in uh, Kitui, in Tarakanithi, in Marsabit, in Isiolo, because these are the places where we have seen hatchlings. Mm -hmm. Actually, in other parts like Nyeri, where they passed, and Kirinyaga, the terrain is not for desert kind of soils, eh? so they are not able to breed there. But we are observing those places. Mm -hmm. and because of the wind, sometimes they get pushed into uh, places where they shouldn't go. Because these are lowland creatures who fly with, with the wind. Mm -hmm. So right now, our focus is mainly on ground operations. And we are expecting new waves from Somalia. Because even as they are breeding here, yeah. they are breeding in Somalia and nobody is controlling them there. Mm -hmm. So another wave will come. Oh Lord. Wow. Yeah. So kuna uh, Yeah. Kuna <laughs> yeah. Al 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 locust. Now to me advisory. I wanna come to <laughs> Is your spring successful? The spring is successful. Usually when you hit a locust swarm which has about forty million forty 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 million insects. <laughs> you get about 70%, 80% kill, the rest will move. Yeah, so... The, the and how many in a swarm, in a normal swarm? 40 million. About 40? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so, <laughs> all of Kenya. <laughs> yeah. In one swarm. In one swarm. A, a, a county like... Uh, like uh, a county like uh, Samburu has uh, received over 80 swarms. Because they keep on counting eggs. My goodness. So what we saw Jana in Nakur, yes. what was that? And 40 million? It was a swarm. <laughs> yes. Moving. Moving. And they Sorry. move and they can, they can bring down a small aeroplane if, uh, if, if it flies into this swarm. What? Yeah, I remember there is a story which featured in the news about an Ethiopian airline which had to uh, do emergency landing mm -hmm. just because of uh, heating as well. So even the planes that spray them, they spray them when they are settled, in the morning, not when they are flying. If we are not able to manage them here, they will hit Ethiopia. So we have an obligation also to manage them here so that Ethiopia also is safe. Even our own situation here, when they landed in Samburu, Marsabit and Mandera, which are usually dry areas, they landed during the short rains and it had drained very well. So they had plenty of vegetation to, to, to eat and the soils are suitable for multiplication. So when we see the pictures of the hatchlings, they are in their trillions, they are many and they are in many places, many sites. Just looking at, at the map, we are estimating about 55,000 acres of uh, land where they have, uh, which has been impacted. And I noticed they didn't like the bungi plants very much in America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it look too strong? Mira, you are Changanya. They stay 
stayed awake. Waka piti ya embu, wakao na ye. Mamo ho, kaisa ibi. Waka piti wana barindi ya Mount Kenya. Wame changanyo. Nature has not been good, you know. No, no. This is new territory. They didn't touch any coffee. Yeah, yeah. That's surprising. They don't like They're being awake. They're discreet. <laughs> 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 they sleep. Yes. Mchana, they fly. So, Veve, Nakahawa, <laughs> Locust, and a grasshopper. Yes. What's they, the difference? They, they belong to the same family. They also aggregate, but they don't swarm. So, you'll find like a couple of hun uh, hundreds or thousands on a tree. But they don't fly around, they're just there eating. That is what led to the other infamous uh, statement that we should send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Again, from your colleagues. <laughs> the, the, the idea was, yes. to, because we had a lot of counties, yes. it's in India, it's in India. <laughs> but, so I tell them, send pictures. When they send, we tell them, these are grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. Even Kisumu, they reported, but we told them, when we saw the pictures, we told them, these are grasshoppers. Uh -huh. yeah. no, uh, another question. The question a lot of people ask, uh, mm. Professor, is are locusts harmful to humans? Mm -hmm. No, not at all. They, they actually food. <laughs>